Okay guys, back once again with another video. And I'm just going to do some readings now. I just wanted to just update you guys on the progress of this. I've changed a capacitor uh, that was reading dodgy. Didn't fix the problem, I'm afraid. It's like this thing's getting cleaner and cleaner. Uh, but it's just uh, it's just a nightmare. Alright, so uh, let's do a little test here. So I've got the meter in AC mode. I just want to show you guys something right now. So I'm connecting these pins, not pins, sorry, these leads, noodle, shush. These leads that come out of here, go into, from the transformer, go into this little, oi, no, leave it alone. Go into these white ca white cables and there's a black cable. So I'll connect to that white cable, that gives me 15 volts. Now, should I be getting 15 volts from this transformer? Uh, this transformer is a uh, S1100EVBS transformer. Then, on this side, you get 14 volts. So, 14 volts on that side. This is AC, by the way. And 15 volts. So, it's 15 and a 14. And then you've got, you've got an earth there right so that's that um then on these pins here back to dc right we're getting that's the earth we're getting well, it says minus 12 volt but let's just change this around Change the polarity around the multimeter. Right, so we're getting 12 volt there. So that looks okay to me. Right. Then on the red cable, we're getting 4.9. So that's our 5 volt. So that looks okay. Now down here looks a bit skeptical. Right. There's a little cable that comes off of this board here. This like rectifier. Um optical outboard or whatever now i've collected the optical out and the sound is exactly the same guys right so we've got this little connector here that comes off of this board there's two diodes there and when you connect the multimeter to that socket there you're getting minus 14 now 14 is that high should we be working with 12 volts here and then there's a minus 12 there then there's a 7, so I'm taking that, that's an earth. The, and there's a 12 volt, but why have we got 14 volt? And the 14 volt coming in is ran by this RAM chips here. So, hmm, this is kind of interesting. Uh, there's some voltage readings from a lot of these schematics as well. Uh, that I might try and trace back and take some readings and see if these voltages coming out of sort of these test points or whatever uh, are correct uh, apart from that um, if this is not meant to be pumping out 15 volts or 14 volts maybe it's these rectifiers or whatever you call it here because there's two rectifiers over here right and they're listed on the on the schematics as well as I believe rectifiers. Um, yeah, if you guys have got any suggestions where we go from here, uh, do comment down below. Uh, I'm going to uh, go through the board again, have a look at some more of these caps, because I've got a list of a few caps that might be a little bit ski with. And I've bought a load of caps as well that I'm sort of in the process of changing one by one and then reassembling everything uh shout out to paul thanks for all the tips mate and uh shout out to everyone else who's been you know leaving any suggestions if you guys got any suggestions or you know if you experience and you could give me some, some meter readings if you've got an akis 1100 and you can give me some meter readings and let me know if i should be getting 14 volts here because 14 volts here seems a little bit on the high side right okay that's ac so let me put that back to ac again right i sh i'm sure that's two volts too high i don't know is it look at that 
that's high right 14 volts coming in from the transformer is a transformer 40 should i not should i be getting a lower voltage going in but then would that even matter if it's going through these rectifiers here you know again let's do another meter reading over here you know someone's out there look minus 14 volts so it's leaving the board at it's leaving that section at 14 and there's a minus 12 there and there's two rectifiers you know is one for the five should one be five and one should be uh 12 it's a bit of a weird one guys it really is There's the old there's the pins there, see it? So, let's see. Strange. Strange but true. Look. Fourteen on that pin there. Anyway, guys, uh, that's about all I've got for you at the moment. Uh, comment down below, guys. Be interesting to hear what you think. And we're going to be getting back to some videos on tightening up your beats and all that soon. I have just got just engulfed in this sampler. I'm so determined to get this thing fixed. I bought a few new chips as well to try out, but I'm still waiting for the dips, the dip sockets so that I can resolder them. And desoldering stuff on this board is, boy, hard work. It's an absolute nightmare. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the content. Give us a like if you did. Later.